Hello. I recently posted a video on an M.2 installation SSD drive in my Lenovo Y700. I just wanted to show you now that I got it up and running how fast it boots and tell you the problems I ran into. Now when you buy a, a drive from Samsung it can you can get the uh, what do you call it? You can get the software that lets you migrate your operating system to the SSD. Let's power this on. There we go. You'll see how fast it boots now that it's running off the SSD. What I had to do, because I ran the migrate OS to SSD software, and it would get to 99%. There you go. I'm already in Windows. There you go. That's how fast it is. But anyways, back to what I was talking about. When I would run Samsung's migration software, it would get to 99% and it would die. At, and it would give me an error about could not resize the partition. So I thought, what am I going to do? So what I wound up doing to get my laptop running off the SSD because your SSD is going to need a GPT partition a boot partition on it and there's all this software that says it can do it but I, I just nothing was working because this laptop doesn't use the MBR for a boot partition you need a, the GPT the which actually is GUID Partition Table. Stands for Global Uni Uniform Identifier. It's a better partition pa table. It lets you use drives beyond 2 terabytes. It's got better security. It's got better redundancy checking for errors. So anyway. What I did is I took the mechanical drive out of it. So the only drive that was in here was the M.2 drive and I had a 16 gig USB flash drive that I had made into a restore disk and I just installed Windows from, from my USB disk. I told the laptop to boot, up, boot off of that and to restore Windows. Now what had me worried when it was restoring Windows, it got to like 14%, and it stayed there for a good 20, 30 minutes before it, you know, it looked like it froze. So if you do do this, you put in your SSD, you take out your other drive, so the only drive it can put Windows on is your M.2 drive, give it time. Because the installation of Windows took a long time. Even though it's an SSD, I guess it has something to do with the UEFI partition, boot partition, that has to be the GPT. That also has to be formatted in FAT32, while the rest of your drive will be formatted as NTFS. I have a feeling it was figuring all the, you know, doing all the partitioning and that's why it took so long but anyway I thought I would also share you know an SSD speed test at the end of this so I'll be right back with how fast this thing runs it's the Samsung EVO 850 M.2 SSD 256 gigabyte. Be right back. Hello again. I ran a crystal disk mark just to show the performance of my new M.2 SSD drive. I got two things going on here. On the left is the SSD drive 
and on the right is the mechanical drive which I reinstalled for extra storage because that's what you do with those drives nowadays who uses those for booting and gaming and all that anyway as you can see these are the numbers the SSD drive is clearly dominating the mechanical drive which it should so there you have it, it now you know if you have a Y700 I have the 15 ACZ model the one with the AMD FX processor in it I'm sure you it'll be the same for the ones that run on an Intel chip because it has the same slot for an M.2 drive you can expect similar results so there you have it have a nice day bye bye